Hello, my name is Kyle Dayton and I'm a student at Chico State University and I'm working at the Swine Unit. I'm actually in the Swine Unit office right now and today I'm going to take you guys around our Swine Unit here on campus and in, through our four barns, our farrowing barn, our sow barn, our grow barn, and our nursery and show you guys what we look for when we're trying to figure out if our pigs here are happy and healthy and enjoying their time. The first barn that we are going to be in is the farrowing barn. And this is everybody's favorite because of the obvious reason that we have a whole lot of piglets in here. And it's probably the most adorable barn that we have. Um, I apologize for the noise. It kind of sounds like I'm yelling. We have AC and fans going at all times in here because we are trying to make sure that the temperature of the sows is nearly around 70 degrees outside. Uh, 70 degrees. Um, the, and it's very hard to do when it's 98 degrees outside in the middle of summer, so we have AC blasting at all times, so it's a little loud in here. So the first thing we do when we come in here is we're going to make sure that uh, all of the piglets are up and walking around and moving. It's kind of difficult to see whether or not they're limping or, or whatnot, but just making sure they're all up, they're all interested in either going up to the face of the mama or going over and grabbing some milk. And that's the most important thing. Every once in a while, we'll pick them up and do a little bit more of an inspection, especially on the days where we process and give them different shots. The next thing that we check while we're here is we check for the sow. The most important thing with these guys is definitely to make sure that the sows are um, cooled off and that they are staying cooled off. Because the sows, they like to have their temperature around 70 degrees, and the piglets, they like to cuddle up next to them because they like it around 90 degrees. So we're making sure that they are cooled down and the way that we do that is we make sure that they aren't uh, breathing too heavily. If they are, we'll come down and we'll spray them off really quick. But those are the two most important things, coming and making sure the sow is cooled off and making sure all the piglets are up and interested in grabbing some milk. The next barn that we have that's actually connected to the Fairling Barn, so Fairling Barn is right through those doors. Right over here we have the nursery. And this is where the piglets go right after they're taking, taken off of their mother once they get too big to nurse. So they're in here and uh, the biggest thing to keep in mind as they're in here is to uh, just keep track of how much they're consuming. The best way to tell if an animal is not feeling well, when it's not a physical abnormality that we can actually see with our eyes, is whether or not they're eating. And the way that we keep track of that is we make sure that we are feeding their feeders every single day and sort of keeping a mental note of how much they're eating or keeping track of whether or not there's a huge weight distance, difference. So if we look right here, this young, I do believe this is a gill right here in this, right there, she is probably 10 pounds lighter than the biggest piglet in this pen. Right there, that shows me that there's something going on. She could either be feeling not feeling well, or maybe she was just the smallest one. If she doesn't catch up with her or get closer to how big she is, I'm going to assume that there's something going a little bit awry with, with her and her growth. And that's the best way that you can tell whether or not these piglets are keeping up, tra uh, up to pace and making sure that they're okay, is just making sure you're following how much they eat and whether or not they're eating at all. Um, along with that, we also will make sure that they're walking okay, they're not limping, we'll make sure that they get up and move a little bit, um, and we'll just keep track of that, and if they're limping at all, then we'll take mental note of that and treat it um, from there. The next barn that we are going to look at today is the grower barn. This is where the piglets uh, will come after they're done growing in the nursery, and then they're put out here when they are able to sort of stand up to the environment and actually be outside. So. Um, out here, it is not a controlled temperature. However, we do have water constantly flowing in that back area behind that last pig back that way. Um, out here, what we're really checking for, so when they get older, um, once they pass around two, three months old, they are much, much more susceptible to getting, uh, getting hurt physically. So it could be involving uh, throwing, out, throwing out a leg, it could be breaking a leg, but at this time, they're they are most susceptible to be uh, to get in trouble on on physiological skeletal issues. So luckily in this pen, if I can get these guys to move around a little bit, thank you. If they would move around, we we would be able to tell that they aren't limping or anything like that. Here in a second, I'll take you over to a pen where a piglet did actually slip and hurt himself, and we can take a look at him and we can see that big difference between whether or not. 
um, these pigs are doing well. But over here, the biggest issue that we are going to follow along with is whether or not they're limping and whether or not they're structurally sound. I'm not sure if you guys could see this pig. This pig is sitting all the way in the back corner over there. That pig um, did, it broke its leg about a week, two, a little, maybe a little bit longer than that. But the biggest takeaway is that pig, it's very difficult to get that pig up and walking around. That's where we first noticed that, hey, there's something wrong with this pig. And then when she stood up, we noticed that she did not put any weight at all on her front right leg. She has a very hard time with that. Now, once you have physical issues um, with a pig, it'll go into that, oh, if you can see, she's not using her leg at all. The, once you have those physical issues, it goes into a digestional issue because the pig won't want to get up, won't be motivated to get up and eat. Therefore, their growth will be down and their consumption will be down. To put it in perspective, this pig that's sitting in this pen right here is supposed to be about as big as these girls right over here. So that's why we need to make sure that these pigs are happy and healthy. And we're trying to nurse this one back and get this, this one healthy enough to eventually catch up with her brothers and sisters. Awesome, so now we are in our sow barn. This is where the mama pigs come before they go in, when they're getting pregnant and before they go into the farrowing house. So I'm going to show you guys a few different, uh, a, a few different takeaways of what we're looking for while we're in here to make sure that they're okay. And Ms. Nordstrom also asked me to show how we know or how we start to get a feel of whether or not these pigs are in heat. So the first thing, the biggest thing that we're looking for here um, is whether or not they're, they're structurally okay. We're gonna make sure that these pigs are walking around, especially when we go in and clean their pins. We're moving them around, making sure that they are not limping on anything, they're not doing anything abnormal. We're also going to make sure, uh, we're also going to make sure that they are eating their full meal. They're on a diet over here, so we feed them um, every morning at six o'clock in the morning. Actually, it's five o'clock now, but we feed them every morning at five o'clock in the morning. We're making sure that they're eating everything, making sure that they're not feeling sick at all. Now, um, those are the two biggest takeaways. You're going to make sure that you, they are eating everything and they are not limping whatsoever. Um, next, let's talk about a pig in heat, which luckily we have a sow that is in heat today that we can look at. So when they're in heat, a few things is going to happen. The first thing is that the pig's vulva is going to be swollen. Second thing is the pig will be a little bit more agitated than normal. Um, and the third thing, let's see if I can get this girl to stand, is that they will stand for a bit. And in order to simulate that, hey there, hey. In order to simulate that, what we will do is we'll come up and we'll push down on their back. And if she doesn't move when we push down on her back, that means that she is in standing heat and she wants to be bred. So that's how you go in the three takeaways from this barn is we are going to make sure that they are one, walking okay, they're eating all their food, and then we'll check for heat to be able to breed them. And this girl right here is very much in heat. 